Today's episode features guests who earn a living licensing new products and technologies to corporations. Howard Arneson's best known patent was for the pool sweep, which launched the automatic swimming pool cleaning industry. Since then, he's revolutionized offshore power boating and continues to push the speed envelope of racing boats. You know, people get a lot of ideas and, they, and, and there are a lot of things invented, but the name of the game is selling it. And uh, uh, we went through a lot of trials and tribulations. It wasn't readily accepted by the industry. Uh, the pool service people thought we were gonna put them out of business, which wasn't true. The pool builders thought if they tried to sell this automatic cleaning device, that must mean it's a big problem and they wanted to hide that. And it is a big problem. So uh, getting over those hurdles that I'm most proud of. I sold the pool sweep company in 1969. It's strange to think here you are at, at the top of the heap in a particular industry, in a particular, a particular market, and you quit that and you go on to something else. A 70-year-old entrepreneur has shattered the record for the Mississippi River Marathon boat race from New Orleans to St. Louis. I was just enjoying life and having a boat and wanting to go fast and so forth. And uh, the result of it is uh, the patent came from making that improvement on the, on the device. But, but it's never been work to me. It never has. There are not enough hours in the day. I'm, well, you're always thinking. Always. No matter what you're doing. Except riding in the boat. <laughs> Joe Grand is an electrical engineer and hardware hacker who specializes in the invention, design, and licensing of consumer products video game accessories, and modules for electronic hobbyists. Sometimes when I talk about what I do, I, I refer to myself as a professional hobbyist because I get to um, you know, do what I've always loved doing, which is just design products and build things and, and see how things work, um, kind of the hobbyist side of things. But then I also get to license those ideas out to big companies, and that's the professional side. I, I make money doing what I love doing. Um, and there's a lot of days where I just sort of can't really believe that. You know, I operate out of my second bedroom of my house, and this is my lab, and this is my office, and everything happens here, um, but I love it. You know, I couldn't be happier. I'll, I'll spend 12 hours a day in the lab working on something, um, but that's, that's part of engineering. That's part of the fun. It's just trying to get stuff working, uh, and then being able to go and, and license that technology out or protect my IP, you know, invent stuff, and then sell it to somebody else is cool because I don't want to deal with manufacturing. I have a pretty short attention span. I just want to design stuff see if it works, push it out the door and work on something new. So yeah, I mean, professional hobbyist and, and it's, uh, you know, it, it, I've always known that I was gonna do engineering and it's, I, I've just always been driven this way. And just based on all the experiences that I've had growing up, this is just, you know, where I ended up. Mm -hmm.